This is the day that the Lord has made. So let us rejoice and be glad in it. Hello and happy Friday. God bless you. I'm Pastor AD, Pastor of True Vine, NBC here in Houston, Texas. And I thank you so much for joining us for our pastoral moment. This is the time to get the enlightenment with encouragement with the word of God. And today, church, I want to encourage you to subscribe to this channel once again. And thank you so much to all the subscribers of this channel that have supported this channel. Thank you so much. Thank you. I want to spend a special shout out to my coworkers at the railroad. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for supporting this channel, man. God bless y'all. And I know I love y'all. Y'all my boys. And also thank you for everybody who support this channel, all the family, everybody all around the world. Love y'all. Love y'all. Love me. Continue to share this channel. Continue to like this channel. And also down in the description box, if you check down in the description box, you will find our information. So if you ever want to come to our church, you ever want to join our church, the information is there. Please do so. And thank you. Thank you once again. So again, part two, I'm going to do a part two, exciting and informative black history facts that you probably didn't know, part two. So this is part two, exciting and informative black history facts that you probably didn't know. And so number one, we're talking about Phyllis Wheatley. Phyllis Wheatley was the first African-American to publish a book of poetry, poems on various subjects, religious and moral in 1773 1773 wow born in gambia and sold to the wheatley family in boston when she was seven years old wheatley was emancipated shortly after her book was released wow so give it up for phyllis wheatley give it up for phyllis wheatley and also we have the agriculture scientist of course we all know him george washington carver was responsible for creating over 500 new products made from peanuts and sweet potatoes, including cooking oils, paint, and soap. George Washington Carver. Give it up for him, man. What a wonderful guy. I mean, brilliant, genius. And then in 1908, after winning the 4x400 meter relay, John Taylor became the first African American to win gold in Olympics. And... In 1948, Alice Coachman, Alice Coachman became the first black woman in the world to win an Olympic gold medal while competing in the high jump. So give it up for both of them, John Taylor and Alice Coachman. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. And then we have on number four, we have the oldest black female Greek letter organization, Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated, a.k.a. was founded at Howard University in 1908. And then we have Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated. Alpha, the first black male Greek letter organization, was founded in 1906 at Cornell University. So give it up for those two. Man, what a deal. I mean, this is important information. A lot of us didn't know. And then we have number five, the first senator, Hiram Rose Rebels. I talked about him a few years ago. Uh, probably last year and the year before that. I love his story. Hiram Rose Revels was the first African-American ever elected in the U.S. Senate. He represented the state of Mississippi from February 1870 to March 1871. Man, what an accomplishment. Give it up for Hiram Revels. And then number six, we're going to go to boxing. We have Jack Johnson. Jack Johnson became the first African-American. He's here. He's from Galveston, Texas. The uh, Jack Johnson became the first African-American man to hold the world heavyweight champion boxing title in 1908. He held it until he held the belt until 1915 as champion. Wow. So give it up for the boy Jack Johnson, man. Jack Johnson. Man, what an incredible fighter. Incredible fighter. If you watch his old videos, it's incredible how many rounds he went. It's just amazing. Number seven. On July 2nd, 1777, Vermont became the first colony to ban slavery. Vermont's legislature agreed to abolish slavery, slavery entirely, and it also moved to provide full voting rights for African-American males. So in 1777, wow. And then we have Cathay Williams at number eight. Cathay Williams was the first and only known female Buffalo soldier. Williams was born into slavery and worked for the Union Army during the Civil War. She posed as a man and enlisted as William Cathay in the 38th Infantry in 1866 and was given a medical discharge in 1868. So give it up for Cathay Williams. <laughs> 
Kathy Williams, she she was dedicated to fight. I mean, she wanted to fight. She was dedicated to it too. And she fought. <laughs> she fought for this country. What an amazing woman. And then we have George Crumb Speck at number nine. George Crumb Speck, a, a chef and restaurant owner, owner is said to have created the potato chip by accident during the summer of 1853. However, his sister Kate claimed she actually created the chip after a potato slice fell into a hot frying pan, creating the famous Saratago chips. Now, Crumbs, Crumbs chips remain a local deli delicacy in New York until 1920s when a salesman named Salesman's, salesman's name, Herman Lay. Herman Lay, what, what that sound like, right? Lay's Chips, yes, that's it. Lay's Chips began to traveling throughout the South and introducing potato chips to different communities. Man, so give it up to Kate and George Speck. Kate and George Speck for creating a potato chip. Kate and George Speck. And then our last one, number 10, we have Garrett Morgan's invention continued to save lives. His take on traffic signals right which he patented in 1922 was the first to offer a third caution signal which is now known as the yellow light take his traffic signal which he patented in 1922 in 1912 morgan received a patent for his breathing device which was one of the earliest versions of a gas mask he was also the first african-american man to own a car in Cleveland, Ohio. So give it up for Garrett Morgan. What a, what a great job to all of these great people, man. God is so good. God has tremendously blessed them to do these things, to be inventors and creators. And it's not too late. God can do the same for you, the same for us today, and, and um, put great ideas in our mindset that we can create and invent certain things today that's needed. And I'm telling you, man, what an awesome job for all these people, man, that have paved the way for us, all of our people that have paved the way for us, and I thank God for them, and God bless you, and happy Black History Month to everybody. God bless you, God bless you, God bless you. Remember, keep God first in everything you do. I love you, fam. Till next time, tune in Sunday for the Word of God, and I promise, I promise, you won't be sad. Love you, love you, love you. Share this video with everybody. Share it, share it, share it. And all my subscribers, thank you for subscribing to this channel. God bless you. Till next time, we're True Vine. We love you. We're praying for you. You want to know why? Because we're True Vine and we are the Church of Love. God bless. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to this channel and join our online Christian family. Tithes, offerings, and donations can be made via Cash App at dollar sign TVMBC or by mail at True Vine Missionary Baptist Church, 1407 Grove Street, Houston, Texas, 77020. Thank you so much and have a blessed day.